Hi, it's Richard here from Midwell's Plumbing Heat and Supplies. Today I'm going to show you how to fit an MWR3 controller to a Flamco Mebees MC mixed circuit pump group. So if you're fitting the MWR3 actuator to the mixing valve itself, the first thing you'll notice is it comes with a manual cap. This manual cap can be removed, but when you remove it, just note that there is an arrow on the actual manual mixing valve itself okay so you want that in the down position or that's where I would put it when you're putting the actuator on it so on the pump group because you can um, hand these you can remove this and put it over this side and rehand the valve in this orientation which is the standard configuration when it comes out the box we've got the flow coming into the bottom of the mixing valve on the right hand side and the return on the left with the flow on the right hand side coming in, we if this is in the down position, basically it's in the fully this valve is in the fully closed position. When it goes to the quarter turn or the 90 degree position there, this is now in the fully open position. So this now allows allows the flow to go straight away through the valve. If I close that to there, this is now in the closed position. So now the return is fully flowing round the flow. Okay, so that's fully open, that's fully closed, so no flow can go that way. Okay, so we need it in the fully closed position when you put the actuator onto it. Just bear in mind it has got your bypass screw here, so if you need to adjust your bypass for any reason, so whether you want it open or closed or anywhere in between, you need to adjust it prior to putting your actuator head on the valve. Okay, so if we remove the, the manual control knob while it's in the down position. Inside the pack what you've got is you've got an, uh, uh, a mixing valve adapter for the head. Okay, So that adapter goes on there. On one of the splines, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little arrow just on that spline there. So that arrow needs to be in the same orientation of the arrow of the manual mixing valve. So if I put that arrow to the bottom that should now slide on like so okay so the splines with the arrows right at the bottom you can see it's gone all the way on and you can see the brass of the of the valve just through the adapter there so once that's on you want to get your mixing valve actuator so if we get that round here okay and I'll give you a very quick shot of that so this is the mixing valve actuator You've got a manual uh, override button here, so you can't rotate the, the actual knob on the front until you put it in manual mode. Once it's in manual mode, and you can actually rotate this, it's full 90 degrees of travel. Okay, so what you should see on the top is there's a little lug here, and that lug should, when you turn it, go from minimum to maximum, like so. If it's not doing that, it's because the head's on the wrong way. If the lug's down here, the actual front piece isn't on correctly, okay? So just make sure that is on the correct position when you've finished, like so. And that will rotate from minimum to maximum. So like I said before, this in the down position is in the minimum position. So I want to turn that to mi minimum before we put the head on, okay? So you see the splines at the back here? Okay, so you've got the splines at the back. If you've got that in the minimum position and this is correct, this should just, he says, should just slide on like so. When you've got it on, just to prove you've got it in the correct position, you can turn that all the way um, to fully open. And if you take that off, what you should see is the arrow is pointing this way. Okay, and that's just showing you you've got this in the correct position. You put that back on and then turn it all the way closed you should then see that the arrow is again at the bottom so once you've got it on take the front cap off get your screw that comes in the pack so you've got a long screw that goes through the middle there and basically you tighten the actuator head to the mixing valve okay make sure it's in the right position when you do this you don't have to go massively tight, just tight, nip it up tight. 
and then once you've done that you can put the um, this back on just to test it it does get a bit stiffer once you've done that so okay, like so so that's fully open that's fully closed okay once you're happy with that you can take the manual mode off and you must take the manual mode off for it to operate correctly okay and then what you'll be left with is your your mains cable in because it's a European product you'll have a European plug on it so all you need to do is just cut the plug off and then wire this in this is your mains incoming so your live neutral and your earth so you just need to then wire this into your live supply you've got your sensor bank so um, in here you've got all your where you put your sensors so if you look at ref if you reference the wiring um, diagram you'll see you've got one to, tw uh, one to 12 and each of these um, is your sensor positions and your bus connections between this and any other controllers you may have on the system okay so it's all in the all in the manual there's a full explanation of what each one of these is Put that back on there oh, the other way around sorry there we go and then lastly you've got your pump connection so this connector here is for your pump connection so what you get in the box is you get a lead for your pump there that plugs into your um, into your pump and then that wire basically goes into those connections they're quick release connections okay I'm not going to wire it up today on this video but, um, but that's what that connectors for and then once you've done that and you've you've wired up all your connections so your outdoor sensor your flow sensor which will go on the pipe here so your pipe up here you'll strap your flow sensor to it either zip tie it or something like that um, there, there is an option actually on these for you to buy an adapter that goes in just underneath the flow isolator here that you can then put the sensor into there I mean my personal preference is to strap it to the pipe above just because um, people know then um, that the sensor is there um, yeah and that's kind of my personal preference and also you you kind of guarantee that you, you're not going to get any leaks from this then going forwards um, if you didn't seal this part up properly you could get leaks coming from that so like I said I just prefer to um, have my sensor on the flow um, and then like I said um, that's pretty much it from putting the actuator on the valve if you had any questions at all please let us know on the video or contact us at sales at mwphs.co.uk um, this video is a customer video so if you haven't purchased your pump group from us then obviously the techni technical support would have to be referenced back to Flamco themselves um, however we have the mixed circuits we have unmixed um, circuit pump groups we have the manifolds and all the other Flamco accessories that are available with these products on our website mwphs.co.uk thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.